just waiting for the court officials to come on court and uh, the players. And I think this is a very, very interesting match coming up here, but um, it's also tough to follow. In the footsteps of that uh, very, very exciting uh, women's doubles. But um, here comes the court officials. Please welcome the players onto the course. From Hong Kong, China, Lee Chek Yu. Coming into the event unseated, 20 year old Lee Chek Yu has a current world ranking of 88. Yeah, On his way to the final, to he has beaten the third, the sixth, and the seventh seeds. Who comes on court first? The top seeded player. Won this tournament here in. Uh, Please welcome from Chinese Taipei, Xu Wei Wang. The 22 year old has a world in, uh, ranking of 2012 and to the tournament as the top seed. A previous winner here is uh, from, from Hong Kong, Li Chu Yu. Just uh, brushed Taipei away seeded players on his road to this. Uh, First ever Grand Prix gold final for him. Very, very impressive um, performance so far by uh, the 20 year old from Hong Kong. Yeah, important to get some good pictures. For the spectators, here's uh, our umpire, Cynthia Tam. Black. Black. Performing the course Set. time. Uh, the coin toss. to wait again playing when he was only seven years old now 22 He's from uh, Taipei City but uh, lives in uh, Kaohsiung Chinese Taipei National Center in Badminton won a silver medal at the 2013 World Junior Championship in uh, men's singles lost to Korean uh, Hu Kwang Hee. Here's his road to the final. Very impressive. Only uh, one game where he was uh, struggling a little bit against Patul Joshi in uh, the second round. Three players from Chinese Taipei in the semi finals of this tournament here. This man made sure that it was not an all Chinese Taipei final as he beat Su Jin Hao in the semi final. 20 years of age, Li Chu Gyu. His peers with, uh, amongst others, Xi Yu Chi, Jonathan Christie, Anthony Inting, and Kanta Sunayama. So it's a very, very uh, talented bunch we've got there. and. And look at this, all straight game victories and four seeded players went down to him. Quite a performance. I'm looking very much forward to this final because these two players, they look to me to have some kind of the same play playing style. And they've actually played each other twice before. The score is 1-1 and the last meeting was won by 
Wang Tsui was in the Macau Open last year. It's uh, Cynthia Th Tam from uh, Australia. And uh, Justin Zhu is the service judge. Talking about Ladies and junior gentlemen, medals. on and, my uh, right, Lee Chuk, Lee Chuk a Yu, bronze from Hong Kong, Asian China. Junior Championships, 2014. And on my left, Wang Zhu Wei, Chinese Taipei. <laughs> Wang Zhu Wei to serve, love all. Play. Oh, what a start. Service over. One, love. The chat straight on the line from uh, Bangs away. Service over. And when I say that, um, I feel they have the same kind of playing style. I mean, an attacking playing style. Um, both players really, really eager to uh, get the initiative in the rallies. And both players are very good um, at the net. Of course, necessary to be able to set yourself up for these um, attacks. I guess that even though uh, the head-to-head -head score is Three, one all, uh, one. most would hold Wang Tsui as a quite big favorite in this match. He's um, really had a good um, 2017 so far. He was the runner-up in both German Grand Prix Gold and his home event in Chinese Taipei. It's also a Grand Prix Gold event. Both occasions he lost to his uh, fellow countryman, Cho Chen Tian. On the road to the final Four. in Germany, he One. beat Chen Long, and that's not an easy task. I mean, the Olympic gold medalist, he's not won a tournament this year except for the Asian Championships, but um, he's still a hard man to beat. Excellent. Good read by Wang to wait. Nosed from two other meetings that his opponent also is quite aggressive and wants to play the net and wants to win the net, so it's important to be ready for the battle there. Chuck. Excellent play by Wang Tsui. He was he was conducting that rally all the way. Always in the lead Six. and just working his One. opponent around the court until the right chance occurred. And a very, very impressive start by the top seeded uh, Wang. Li has only scored on that um, service return, that deceptive service return actually. Seven. 
Seven. One. And from these first eight rallies, I just get the sense that um, Wang Tzu Wei is um, stronger physically. He looks in really, really good balance all the time, but also uh, very, very uh, confident in his own uh, shot quality. That's well played by Li Chiu And of course, it would be naturally he was a little bit more tensed by appearing here in this final than his uh, more experienced opponent. Thank you. Shuttle. Service over. Two, seven. And that bad, perfect judgment by Li Chiu. He worked hard to get that point. Judgment from White. Service over. Eight, three. That was called as well. First meeting between these two players here was in Thailand, Grand Prix Gold in 2016. Lee won it in three games. Oh, good deception. And then Wang got his revenge in uh, Ten, Macau five. later the same year. Look at the Beautiful deception coming here. Good drop shot. We saw service over his ability in that Six. category. 
deceptive drop shots yesterday when he was playing Su Jin Hao. Very, very um, good variation to his attack. Play. After passing over the net, perfect placement over. gives uh, once away a three interval. point lead at the interval, but um, good comeback from. Uh, so Chuck Yu, so he was down 1-7. On one of the rare occasions where none of the players uh, have any coaches by their side in the intervals. We see it, of course, when players from same country uh, play each other, or most of the times when players from same country play each other. But... Um, when you play other players or players from other countries, you normally have a coach with you. That's not the case here. Thank you. On court. Dragons winning that one. Lee. And I think I might have to eat my words because since I said that, um, I felt that Tsubawa uh, away had the um, better shot quality. I actually think um, it's deteriorated ever since. <laughs> So um, let's see if he can come back. Not in terms of points, but in terms of uh, shot quality. Service over. Nine, eleven. Good variation. Service over. That slice drop shot forces a uh, weaker return Twelve. from uh, Lee. Nine. Good flick serve from uh, 
Lee catches one totally off guard, Service but uh, manages to get back. 13, 10. Perfect placement. That lift from uh, Wang Tzu Wei. Service over. Fourteen. 11. Oh, that's called in. Lee is definitely not happy about that. 15, 11. Nothing much you can do about it. Of course, he can hope for him. Overruling by the umpire. Let's see if we can see anything here. Uh, I lean towards uh, siding with uh, Lee Chok Yu that it looked long. This is where 16, you might 11. want to try as the Hong Kong player when you've just uh, had a setback there with the Lions call and try and get a towel down or something, get the court mopped to sort of brush it off. It was uh, three quick points there for uh, Wang Tzu Wei. 17, 11. That's part of uh, being experienced, knowing how to handle situations like this. Uh, great touch on that uh, net shot. The second last shot from Wang Tzu Wei taking it far away from the net and manages to get it close. 18, 11. Here it comes, 11. that one. Perfect touch. One of the hardest things to play close from that position. On a run of uh, seven straight points. Twenty. Wang Tzu Wei has earned himself game point. nine Eleven. game points. He never really recovered from that um, Lions call that he felt was not entirely correct. Game. There it is. First game to the favorite, the top seeded, First game former won champion by here, Wang Tzu Wei, 21 11.
seconds. 20 seconds. Thank you. Second game, love all, play. So, ready for the second game here. In the North Shore Events Center in Auckland. It's called Out. wide, that one. And uh, Lee one. also not love. satisfied with that call, but um, probably the right one just feels that uh, it was two calls that have gone against him. Service over. A little frustrated with himself there. One to wait. One. All. Also white. Service over. Two, one. Horses uh, highest ever ranking. At the moment, once away, number twelve in the world. No one white. And uh, three, one. Of course, due to good results in Grand Prix goals, but also. Super Series and his best results this year is um, quarterfinal in the Niche Open. Lost to the eventual winner, Shrikan Kidambi. Four, one. Excellent rally. Five. One. None of the two players are afraid to attack. Attacking rally over. from uh, Lee Chukyu. Two, six. And when you play upwards to him, there's nothing much to think about. He's definitely play. going to attack. Come wide, yeah. Service over. Seven, two. Good net play. Excellent net play by uh, one to wait. Shuttle. He's shown that in the uh, Earlier Two. tournaments and also Super Series tournaments that uh, his net game is right up amongst the very best in the world. Service over. Three. Eight.
well placed. Service over. I like that calmness in the shot. Nine. Three. That's it, and, and he, of course, wants to win, but um, if it's not a winner, then he's ready to play on in the rally. And that perhaps is uh, the difference right now between these two players. Yeah, a little bit unlucky there. Difficult shot. Players on court. Uh, once away, once the court mop, but uh, our umpire Cynthia Tam wants him just to use his uh, shoes to sort of uh, wipe away the sweat. Service over. Four, nine. Or some of the tight net game again. And sometimes you've got to play back. You can't afford to lift all the time. Good flicker again from uh, Lee. Oh, that's a fantastic save. Excellent rally. In the end, he couldn't prevent. Lee Chuk Yu from winning the rally. But he gave everything once away. And that might provoke some errors later on in the Thank game you. because your opponent knows that you are going to be there and you're going to be chasing the shuttle with everything you got. Six, Not afraid to throw yourself. Nine. Might force the opponent to overplace some shots later on in the. Uh, in the match. Play. That's well played. I like that clear from uh, Leech of you, the cross clear from his own forehand to uh, Wang Suwei's forehand. Good variation. That's one of the things that I've missed a little bit with him. Thank you. And, and there's no doubt that he's still uh, a player under development, and I'm positive that we're going to hear much more of him both in the Grand Prix goals, but uh, hopefully also at Super Series level. Seven, nine. Always refreshing with uh, younger players coming up. Body smash from uh, Lee Chu Yu and uh, he levels the score at nine all. Six straight points. Nine all. A bit 
bit like in the first game when uh, he came back from a big deficit. Seven straight points. And for the first time in the second game, he's in the lead. Ten. Nine. Oh, miss hit. Eleven, uh, nine. On the run of eight straight points. Lee Chugi takes a two point advantage here coming into the interval in the second game. Ladies and gentlemen, Vivian. What an amazing Vivian, turn of events. Malaysia are upstairs doing an autograph session if you would like to meet them. Thank you. There was the miss hit, and it slipped a bit there. Points away, hopefully, nothing serious. I don't think it was. But what on earth has happened with him? Lost eight points in a row here. And, and 20 seconds. Yeah, it just doesn't look um, like he's feeling uh, comfortable on court. Thank you. I wonder if that's some kind of tension already, or... Uh. 11, 9, play. But 11, 9 to each of you. has given him confidence. Great, great net play there by uh, the 20 year old. 12, 9. Excellent. Good coverage by uh, at the net there. Thirteen nine. In between the rallies, the way he walks once away. He walks like he's not well. Placed, aiming for the body of uh, each of you. Service over. Ten, thirteen. There was a run of ten points that came to an end there. And that has brought. Lee right back in this men's singles final. 11, 13. Well played. Twelve, thirteen. The way he waits there. There's not much. It needs to be higher than the tape before he pounces on it. Wants to wait. Over. 
14, 12. Called out. Service over. 13. Not that, 14. That much luck with the line calls today. Lee. The line shuts, should I say. Well taken. Shuttle touch. One at the kicks that um, Lee was uh, touching the net, but the umpire Service said it was the over. shuttle. 15, 13. Let's see if we can see it here. Yeah, I think she's right. Don't. Good placement. Quickly. Oh, a total miss hit. And uh, Lee has now won 14 out of the last 17 points. 13. And uh, quickly. He doesn't look well once away. Can he come back in this second game here? I don't think he can. Another great shot by uh, the Hong Kong player. 18, 13. Service over fourteen eighteen. <laughs> Oi, fantastic reactions. I want to wave. Enormous opportunities to uh, Lee 15, on the front court. 18. Good defense here. Between the legs. And also got the next one. Absolutely fantastic reactions. bit too high that match up from uh, one to away but uh, Lee is playing fast he's moving fast he's attacking and now five game point opportunities for Lee Chogu what a 
Oh, that's happened. Thank you. Two one two way when he was leading nine three in one game up. Twenty. Game point. Fifteen. Going wide. Game. Lee Chagu has taken the second game. 21 15 after trailing 9 3. Second game won by Lee Chagu. 21 He's forced this 15. men's singles game, final into four. a decider. And the way he's played this second game, he's going into it with momentum. Looked very, very strange what happened there on 9 3. In the, but, but he's walking around the court once away and, and not looking well. And uh, not only has he lost the second game, he's also given his opponent here confidence and belief that he can win his first ever Grand Prix gold title. How fantastic would that be for Lee Chagu to win his first international title at a Grand Prix gold event? In the semi final of the Thailand Open 2016, lost to Sony Concoro, and the quarter final also of Thailand Open in 2017, lost to Joe Winsong. runner up in Singapore seconds. International, but never won an international seconds. tournament. Thank you. On court. Wang. Final game, love all, play. <laughs> Service over, one, well, love. Can he come back once away? He's won this tournament once. Can he do it again or will it be the unseated Lee Chukyu who takes the title. That's well played, but it's gone long. I like the idea. Two. Love. Yeah. Great play. Great net Service play. Over. One, two. Perfect execution by Lee. Service over. Three, one. You can see that um, once away he's got the strapping on his left knee and I, I wonder if that's causing him trouble. Doesn't seem like that's the problem. No! No! Service over. Two, three. Service 
service faults called. Hmm. Stroke of the waist shows. Service um, over. Justin Zhu. Four, two. Oh, <laughs> a little bit lucky with that defense, uh, Lee. But uh, service over. Ready to win on the next Three, shot. Four. Became a fantastic defensive shot. A little out of nowhere. I think in the beginning he was happy just to get it over the net, but uh, became really, really good. Interception by uh, Lee. And I think once away is playing better than he was oh. in the second game. He's definitely oh. playing better. The problem is that he's more or less given uh, Lee confidence. So he's also playing much, much better than in the first one and a half game. When Five. you attack as much as oh. uh, Lee does, then it will eventually be mistakes. Oh. It's right. He seems tired once away. Service over. It's, he's simply got the look Six. of a tired player when walking Five. around the court. And I can't really uh, understand it. I mean, he's had easy matches. Um, or at least two game matches all the way to the final. Service over. Six. Oh. But he manages to stay in the game. Level at uh, six all. Yeah, it's called in. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Lee, he looks six. at the. Uh, Lansman again, and there's not many of these um, close calls that has gone his way. Excellent steep smash from uh, Lee. First one was not as steep as that one. Thank you. And this is where I, I, I get the feeling that uh, Wang away he, he actually wants to keep lying on the court. He doesn't want to get up. Over seven, eight, quickly. Oh, 
côté de. Service over. Nine. Seven. I think more mistakes have crept into the Chugyu's game here in the third game. It's done a whole lot of point that um, Wang has scored himself. Excellent mid play. Excellent mid play by Lee Chugyu. Eight. Talked about it in the first Nine. game Quickly. when it was Wang Tzu Wei who had displayed that touch, but um, he doesn't leave him anything behind. And it's entertaining Let's. for badminton to Wang get these young get ready quicker. attacking players forward. Find the solutions. Uh, oh. One to wait. Ten. Another Nine. net rally where he gets the better of his uh, top seeded opponent. He's calming himself down. Over. Take it easy, take it easy. Ten. Oh. So he's learning on the go. And that's one of the advantages of uh, not having the help of a coach. You have to you have to think yourself, you have to analyze yourself. And if you can, it's very, very good learning. If you can't, then you're probably on your way home. That shot gives uh, Lee Chuck Yu a one-point lead here. Interval. Change at the end. interval. And yet another Papa. magnificent final, ladies and gentlemen. It's close. It's very close. Who's cheering for Little You? <laughs> Who's cheering for Xu Wei Wei? He's having trouble getting it all together once away, but on seconds. the positive side, if you look at it with the Chinese Taipei eyes, then uh, he's only one point behind. He's certainly playing better than in the uh, second half of the second game. So uh, he hasn't lost it yet. He's still in it with a chance, but. Uh, Lee Chukyu with the momentum, but how will he react if he gets close Five. to winning his first ever international title here in New Zealand? That's a great rally. Both players really, really alert. Service over. 
11 old. Yes, uh, quickly. That's probably where he would want to calm himself down a little bit if he could see that in replay. Thank you. Holding his left leg a little bit. I hope nothing happened to him. Sometimes when you are playing that attack of that aggressive style, you sort of outplay yourself if the opponent retrieves your shots. There's only one way to learning when it's right and when it's wrong, and that's by try and error. Fantastic! I don't believe it. Excellent reactions by both players. Look here, he's ready to the next one. Attacks, wants to win it. Sue uh, wants away, almost gets it back from his pocket. remember when I've last seen the men's singles where oh. both players have gone so much for the sharp net game. Really, really entertaining to see. Ready. Stays on uh, one to way side. Service over. Thirteen. Don't attempt. Oh. And this could be a very, very tense finish of the match. Good blocks there. I'm very alert by the. Blocks. But he's not leaving the front court of his own free will, this man, unless it's to smash from the back court. It's gone wide. Over fourteen, all service over. Lee Chuck Yu, who's taking 15, over the control of the net, 14. there's no doubt about it. He wins the majority of the net exchanges. It's a great rally. Oh, fantastic deception. And the bites on it. Signals a straight lift, 15, a straight shot here, and he's totally stranded in the middle of the court. What a fantastic shot by uh, Wang Tzu Wei. 
15 all here in the third and deciding game. There's no holding back for any of these two players whenever they have the chance. They're firing on all cylinders. Service over. 16, 15. A little concern is that the way he's cheering himself on after each point, Lee, I fear that he could be really, really nervous. And it gets close to the 21 points. Good flicker again. Uh, this time stays on his own side. Service over. 16 all. On white. Seventeen. And again. Sixteen. Lee tries to calm himself down, takes a couple of deep breaths. Net shots have stayed on uh, the side of uh, Richard Yu. Is that the tension creeping in on him? I, I think it might be. I think it might be. I think it might be too much in his head that uh, 19, 16. He stands with a good chance of winning his first ever Grand Prix Gold Tournament. Now a three point lead for uh, Wang Tzu Wei. It's been neck to neck up to 16 all. Oh, good shot. It's gone. It's gone wide. And he's devastated Lee. No overruling from uh, Sinjit Tan. And match point. four match points 16. to the top seed. One, two, way. On a run of four straight points. Five straight points, sorry. Oh, we did that one. Still three match points left. Service over. 17, 20. Yeah. Let Wang. He's taking his time, right. Wang. Lee, very, very eager to get going. Just one point in it now. Lee has uh, survived the first three of one, two ways. Match points. 19, 20. Play. Again, Lee is ready to play whilst Wang is taking his time. Oi! It's too steep, it stays on his own side. 
And Lee Chuk Yu has leveled the score at 20 all here in the decider. It's way, way too steep. And it's devastated. One, two, wait. Stays on his own side. And there's a match point for the unseeded Lee Chigyu from Hong Kong. 21, match point 20. to win his first ever international tournament, the Grand Prix Gold Final here in New Zealand. And there it is! He's done it! He's won the New Zealand Grand Prix Gold as an unseeded player beaten five seeds he's lying on the floor can't believe it survived four match points and took six straight points to beat the top seeded Wang Su Wei of Chinese Taipei what a match what a very very entertaining final we've got here in uh, Auckland Fantastic effort by the young Hong Kong player. Was not satisfied with uh, a lot of the line calls. I think he was just uh, a little bit unlucky uh, with his shots, but in the end it all came right. Match one by what a Lee disappointment Chen for uh, his opponent once away. 21-15. And now he's throwing away his rackets to the uh, spectators here, and they go totally crazy. I hope he's not quitting badminton. That's why he's throwing them away. Twenty-one, eleven. Sorry, eleven, twenty-one, twenty-one, fifteen, twenty-two, twenty. What an amazing performance! Every tournament needs something special, and when you win your first international tournament, Lee Chuk Yu, congratulations. How does that feel? Uh, very, very happy. You had a slow start, but then got yourself back into it. You saved four match points. So he just took it slow, one point at a time, and just did his best. How important is this first ever international win for you, and how many good memories will you take away from this? This is his first win, um, and he's going to take away a lot of experience from this, and he's going to take this experience with him for the rest of his life. Congratulations and thank you for a fine foul. Well played. Oh, yeah, no, thank you.
dance in between darling you and me make this thing complete we go drifting out to sea making memories your heart is all i need follow And now it's time, ladies and gentlemen, for the presentation of the 2017 Sky City New Zealand Badminton Open Men's Singles. Please welcome the presentation party. The trophies for this match will be presented by Nigel Skelt, BWF Council Member, and Li Wei, Chairman of the New Zealand Chinese Sports Association. Firstly, we would like to recognise the court officials for this match. Umpire Cynthia Tam of Australia. Service Judge Justin Shaw of New Zealand. And now to our winners, the runner-up of the 2017 Sky City New Zealand Badminton Open men's singles from Chinese Taipei, Chu Wei Wang. <laughs> the winner of the 2017 Sky City New Zealand Open men's singles from Hong Kong, China, Lee Cherk Yu. So, after another exciting match in the men's singles, we're ready to our fourth final of the day, the final of women's singles. And uh, here we have a chance to look at uh, the road to the final. You can see that Marcinok uh, Intenon lost the game in the quarterfinal against Dina Eistin. It was clinical yesterday against Hannah Ramadini. Saina Kawakami, she had a much tougher match yesterday, playing uh, Fitriani of Indonesia. Played 60 minutes in that match. the prize presentation in uh, men's singles we're just about ready to get the 
women on court. First seeded mega star Rachina Gintanan against Japanese teenager Saina Kawakami. Yuswan from Chinese Taipei and the service judge is Jean-Philippe Bergès from 